Maloney D. Here are your test results. Well, should there be a prayer or something? <laughs> Quiet, you. Dad, you okay? Piece of cake. We can do this. All right, okay, let's go. On three. One. One. Two. One. Two. Three. Are we happy? Happy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Favorite plan, they really steal these. Give me I don't believe it. Perfect scores. Oh, you got perfect scores. I guess I test well. <laughs> yes! So you know what this means, don't you? Big screw up at SAT Central? Three refills? No. We could all be in Boston together. Ooh. Would you like that? Me and you, Boston. <laughs> Alone? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Sounds a little hectic. How come you never return my calls? Okay. All right, just close your textbooks. Ladies and gentlemen. Calculus is not for wimps. 28% of you did not pass the midterm. Mr. Tafio, shake the dust out of your skull. Mr. Buchanan, I've seen squirrels score higher on tests. <laughs> True story. Mr. Faber, knock it off. You're making everybody look bad. <laughs> Mr. Boomer. You were flying high. Did you hit an air pocket? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Mueller? Did you fall asleep at the controls? Is there terrorism involved? You're going down in flames. See me after class. Don't forget, have your parents sign those and return them to me. You know the drill. Have a nice day. to see me, Mr. M oh, you can take your form back. I won't be recommending you for Harvard. What? Mr. Mueller, it was one bad grade. 17,000 excellent students apply there every year. 86% don't get in. You do the math. Yeah, but up until now, I've had great grades. Up until now, it's been Little League. Look, I'll try harder. I'll bring my grade up. Yeah, well... I won't hold my breath. Close the door on your way out. Good one. Sorry. Sometimes you just got to scream, you know? I know how you feel. Ah! How's that? This? Woo! Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys.
great. Another Kim O'Brien Halloween extravaganza. The rules are no beer, no dough, no, no sex. sex. We know, right? <laughs> of course. You know, I just have to say, there's beers in the fridge. Of course, those are the three selling points that got us. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go say hi to Jen. Remember, we must dance. Don't forget. I'll see you later. See you. Bye. You look super tonight, Kim. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh my God, Brad, Tanya. Oh, hey, <laughs> Super. I said super. Yes, you did. I don't know what's the matter with me. Every time I get around a girl I like, I turn into Greg Brady with better hair. I'm turning Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese. I don't think so. Turning Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese. Dance. Yes, yes. Okay. Sure. Great. Oh, God. Go. Turning So cold. I mean, if you are, we could we could go back. Oh no, no, no! This is nice. It's um. I mean. What? I, I thought that. You, uh, Todd. I, I, I'm. You know. I'm. I'm sorry. Just. Uh, let's go. Talk now, I'm being chased by a nun. Drive! Go, go, go! So you're in Kirsten? No. Mission scrubbed. What happened? Pulled out a condom. I thought they wanted us to use condoms. No, I mean, I pulled it out too early. There's a time limit? Another exciting evening in South. Did you see that? Yeah. I'm going back. Are you insane? Probably. At least we'll have something to do. Wow, look at that. Yeah, 66 Corvette Sting. No. <laughs> Hi, you need some help? You guys cool? Yeah. We're cool. Yeah. Oh, wait, you're the guy from the reservoir. Yeah. Hi. You want to hop in? Thanks. What reservoir? Is there a reservoir I'm supposed to know about? Hey! That is 
got to be just about the neatest car. Yeah, well, it's my husband's. Uh, if you're cold, there's a jacket back there that you can wear. Oh, yeah, thanks. Wait, standing out right there. Okay, can we take you anywhere? Where are you going? Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> Me too. Nowhere. Tow truck in about an hour. Oh, great. Excellent. So, were you guys just out cruising tonight? Yeah, we were down at the beach. You know, we're the shindig. 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 When did you start channeling Dick Clark? <laughs> I don't usually say shindig. It's just. He doesn't. I don't think I've ever said shindig. <laughs> he hasn't. I can vouch for him. You want to uh, order some food or something, and we'll drive you over later? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Peggy. Oh, okay. So, uh, what does one do at these shindigs? It's kind of been a while for me. A lot of anxiety, rejection. Oh, it's super. Are you OK? Ice cream headache. <laughs> He gets them all the time. Sorry. I just love ice cream. I haven't had it in ages. So, Vicky, what, what do you do? Oh, um... I'm kind of between things right now. Music, studying, sculpting. Sculpting? Yeah, it's uh, mostly metal work. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Cool. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he did it! <laughs> Great. Let's go. Thank you. Shouldn't you at least like let us get the tip or something, please? If you want to. Uh, About two seventy-five. Ooh, dude, she dusted you. <laughs> Math degree, University of Vermont. Very useful. Term and uh, if I don't pass this course, my life is basically over with. No, come on, I'm sure that's not true. Oh, it's true. Jeez, Todd, I could help you with calculus. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Uh, squirrel. to follow you or anything? No, I'm fine, really. It's really having a bad night there for a while. It's you. You're... Anyway, I should go. Thanks for all your help. Bye, Faber. Bye. Amazing. 
totally amazing. Vicky! Look, um, about calculus, you think I can get some help? Uh, I... Please, look, I, I don't have much time left. You'd be saving my life. Uh, I'll think about it. Yeah? Great. Thanks. Oh, hey, uh, you can call me. I I'm listed. Last name's Boomer. Two O's. <laughs> okay. Good night. Boomer with two hoes. As in moron. Yeah, as in moron. still up. Not the best day of your academic career. I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm, I'm angry. And I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad that the one thing you've worked so hard for is just, it's just, it's just slipping right through your fingers. That is just Let what... Let me finish. We work so hard for this thing, and Harvard is, it's there, you know, it, on a platter. It's just waiting for you, and you're just, you're just blowing it. I know. That's why I should get so it to I'm you. So I'm just gonna... What'd you say? Yeah, Dad, I gotta kick ass on this course, right? I should get some help. You're, you're gonna get a tutor? That's great. That is great. I, I, I'll help you get one. Oh, you know what? Actually, I've got it taken care of. You did. to your math final are That's my wife, punk! <sighs> what is this, olive loaf? Yes, Weasel, this is olive loaf. Well, finally hit the wall with my mom. She drives me insane. I'm gonna move out to that cabin and back. Cabin? Faber, that's not a cabin, that's a tool shed. You realize this. You'll be sleeping with weed be gone. Yeah. Banana? So, um, have you spoken to Kirsten? No. Oh, but, uh, guess who called? She called. She called. Who called? Nobody. Um, I was thinking about the other night. Oh, yeah, uh, me too. I'm sorry about that. No, no, I'm sorry. I think I overreacted a little bit. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, everything's cool. Really? I guess I just need a little more time, you know? Time is good. But, um, hey, not too much time, okay?
what therapy is for. No, Al and I disagree. I think it does qualify as a cult. I'll get it. I got it. Hello. Hi, Mr. Boomer? Yes, whatever it is you're selling, I'll buy or give generously to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm Todd's tutor, Vicky. You're Todd's tutor. Uh huh. Come in. Come in. Suddenly, I understand the world so much better. Elaine, come meet Todd's tutor. Come in. Oh, hi, Todd. Hi. Vicky. Can I ask you to take a seat for just a second? Sure. Great. Elvis? Well, Ellen, if you checked yourself in, you could check yourself out. I'll be right with you. Oh, no. Does uh, she know anything about calculus, or are you just going to take the 50 bucks an hour and have a party? Dad, she's got a degree. Uh, I don't know. Here, give her a try. Go. All right. Vicky, would it be okay if I just asked you a question or two, just to make sure you know you're you're up on this material? He's going to ask her a question or two. Uh, sure. All right, here. If 3A over 5 represents the change in force applied to a moving object, what equation represents its momentum? Um, oh, 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 hold on, Helen. Dad. Three-fifths times the integral of A. OK. We're going to be late for dinner. You guys have fun. I guess I was expecting someone a little more mature. Are, are you kidding? Todd is going to work his butt off to impress a woman like that. Do you really think she's that attractive? For me, no. No, but I'm just thinking from Todd's perspective. You see, she's older, she's more sophisticated, and that, that can be very appealing if you, you know, if you go for that sort of thing. Oh. I don't go for that sort of thing. Uh, OK. I thought we'd start off with your last test and what went to get. What are you doing? I'm sure I've got this one. I have no idea what you just said. Exactly. Do you have anything to drink? Oh, sure. Let's see what we have. Yeah. Uh, well, we've got lemonade and chocolate milk. Uh, would scotch be possible? Scotch would be so possible. Just one second. Thanks. So what else do you do, Todd Boomer, with two O's? I don't know. Drawing? I draw a comic for the school paper. Really? Maybe it sounds a little silly, but... No, it sounds great. What, I'm not supposed to be up here? Oh, no. no stay, please. <laughs> here. Thanks. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that's my meat. My meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should let you have your dinner. Oh, no. No, I mean, I'm not even going to eat any of it. There's no meat in it. It's just loaf. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I should get home. What, you really leaving? Yes, I'm really leaving, Todd. Uh, um, well, thanks for your help. Sure. It kind of felt good to be, um, you know, I'm just glad I could help. So, 
Um, why don't you give me a call after you finish the next chapter, all right? There's only three things I need to survive. Computer, tunes, food. And women? Hey, women will make the list someday. As soon as I learn how to speak to them without my tongue inflating. So come on, what happened? We did calculus. And that's it? Yeah, I mean, it was probably the best calculus ever. It made me want to have a cigarette afterwards, but it was <laughs> just calculus. Ooh, I love what you've done with the place. Fight me. Paul! Paul, where are you? God! Please, get in here right now. Note the beauty of the fully integrated tool shed audio system. Mr. Bodine, trawling the murky depths. Mr. Freed, bottom feeding, again. Mr. Faber, smooth sailing, as always. Mr. Boomer, getting the wind back in your sails. Keep it up. Mr. McAdams, failing. Give me laughing gas. Give me Novocaine. Give me fast release. Easy play. Uh, hello? Vicky. Hey, Todd. Oh, hi. How are you? Excellent. Hey, we got an 89 on this week's quiz. We? Well, yeah, I mean, we're in this together, right? Uh, okay. So, uh, think you could come by later? Tonight? Please, I'll drown without you. We're talking Titanic here. Okay, how about... Six. Great. I'll, I'll see you later. Hey. Oh, hey. How goes it? It goes good. Good. Ooh, look at that. So I guess the tutor's working out, huh? Yeah, she's great. Yeah? I mean, she's actually hideous. She's really ugly and fat. Got that white foam stuff. <laughs> it's gross. Uh, but she's effective. You know? Oh, well, that's all that counts. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go to history. Oh, well, those who fail to go to history. Are doomed to repeat it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, don't forget, it's diner night tonight. Oh, I, I can't make it. I gotta keep cranking, you know. Is something wrong? What? I don't know. You just, you seem, you seem kind of off. I'm sorry. Look, I'll, I'll try to get on more. I promise, you know. It's just, man with the mission. Yes. Hi. Are you ready for your next lesson? My parents are downstairs. Yeah. Hello. Shout ahead. You are... Not here. Where are you? It's diner night. Oh, sorry. I can't make it. Uh, Vicky's coming over. Didn't Kirsten tell you? Well, she's not here, I guess, without the main attraction. Well, maybe I can stop by later. It'll be another glorious fall day for the greater Boston area with clear skies from the North Shore. Oh, sitting on my head. Well, I think maybe you should stop one medication before you start another. Really? What do you think I should take? Oh, just a sec. Todd's tutor is here. Hi. Hey, there you are. Hi. Do you like hockey? Because there is a great game coming up. Bruins Leafs. Oh, I don't know much about it. Yeah, well, sit down, sit down. I'll explain the whole thing to you. Jack is forgetting that Vicky is here to work with Todd. <laughs> right, right. Um, he's upstairs. Probably quieter up there. I'll go find him. Okay. That's a nice girl, huh?
Hi. Is this cool? Yeah. I didn't know you were coming up. Wow. Wild room. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I just have a seat. I'll get a chair. <laughs> These are great. You did these? Yeah. You're very good. You like them? Yeah, especially this one. Here, take it. Yeah? Thanks. Thanks. Here's your stack, favor. Guess who? Cindy Crab, and you came back to me. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just me. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, I'm thrilled. I didn't think you'd make the trip. Oh, are you kidding? Of course. Well, I thought maybe without Todd. Oh, well, I guess he's all wrapped up in his calculus thing, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's obsessed. So, next time we'll start with the new stuff. Uh, do you think you could, um, give me a ride to the diner? Um, sure. Uh, I owe you one. You made this? Yeah. I'd like to see the rest of your work. Oh, I don't really show my art. Well, can it really be considered art if you don't show it to anybody? I mean, isn't that more like therapy or something? You're right. I'll think about it. Meanwhile, you know, I get around someone I can't... I mean, I'd like to impress, like Kim. And my brain just fills with trail mix, you know? I mean, you just can't do it. Oh, come on. Don't worry about Kim. You do fine. Yeah, I mean, it's different with you. You're... <laughs> anyway. Hey, there's Faber. Look. Who's, who's that? I'm not sure. Well, she seems sure. Faber? Vicky from the car the other night. Sure, sure. Um, Vicky, this is Kirsten. Kirsten's Vicky. Hi. Hi. Todd was hoping you'd still be here. Todd's here? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Vicky is Todd's tutor. I should have said that. Hi, guys. So you met Vicky? Yeah. Although I didn't see any foam in the corners of her mouth, Todd. Kirsten. Is it something I said? No, it's my fault. I'll be right back. Kirsten, look, there's nothing going on. She's just helping me in calculus. Well, then why lie to me? What, I'm not mature enough to handle that your tutor's attractive? Give me a break, Todd. I don't know why I lied. <laughs> Kirsten, come on. Just forget it. Kirsten. Is she pissed? And has she said anything? Oh. Um, no, not really. I mean, I, I know I, I, I screwed things up with Kirsten, but Vicky's just... I love this. 
You gathered the wood, built the fire, climbed into the pot, and now, surprise, surprise, you're cooked. Why does my life seem like a bad puppet show compared to yours? Incoming. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, thank God. I hate goalie. I mean, Vicky's talented, she's smart, she's beautiful. So, Kirsten is, what, lower on the food chain? Oh, no. no. I, I don't know. Uh, heads up. Stop, Pele. I'm a natural athlete. I can't seem to remember when you first began to start this shit. And the rest of my mind, I find that in the end, you're just a big old fuck. I wish that she had more than just a little fun. I don't want to behave. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Has, has he said anything to you? Uh, no, not really. I'm, I'm sure he said something to you, but you're just being loyal to your friend, which I understand. Well, you're my friend, too. <sighs> you're a sweetheart. Give me a hug. <laughs> I don't think so. Look out! Sorry. Somebody want to get that? Where are you? Faber. This will come out with club soda. Mr. Todd Boomer? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're next. Uh, no, no. Oh, right. Not until the interviewer sits, or he, he invites invite you, you to sit. Right. We got it. Right. I've uh, looked over your application to Harvard. But what can you tell me about yourself that I'm not going to find on this piece of paper? Well, I value friendship. Mm -hmm. I value honesty. Mm -hmm. What about your, uh, what about your passions? Breasts. I really love breasts. It doesn't really matter the size. I just don't want to do this, is that right? Dad, I'm kidding. You don't want I'm to kidding, do relax. Dad, come on. What about your, your passions? Uh, drawing. I really love to draw. I just had to draw a comic strip for the school newspaper, and uh, I don't know, it sounds funny, but that's when I feel the most me, you know. I feel really proud when I create something. That's great. <clears throat> That's great. All right, the boat is traveling a distance of 200 yards at 25 feet per second. What is the rate of change of the angle of deflection? Oh, Mr. No. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody new for a change. Boomer. The rate of change is 0 0.04 radians. Yes! Three-pointer at the buzzer. Recommendation is looking better. Everybody see that? Now, if the boat continues at 35 seconds. Hello? Vicky. Hi, it's Todd. Oh, hi, Todd. I was just thinking about you. You were? Uh, look, I, I had a really good time the other night. I mean, I mean, we got some really good work done. Yeah. Oh, and did you uh, work everything out with Kristen? Uh, Kirsten? Uh, no, not really. Look, um, are we still on for tonight? Yeah, yeah, and um, actually, I've been thinking about what you said about showing my art. And, uh, why don't you come over here? Really? 
Yeah, it's 12 Chatham Lane. About six? Uh, sure, great, great. Uh, I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Bye. I thought they stopped doing shock therapy years ago. It sounds drastic. I gotta go to Vicky's. I'm late. Bye. No, wait! Hello? Todd is going to his tutors, and I don't know why. Oh, see, she has to take care of her dog. It's having puppies. Bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey! What? Is Mr. Mueller writing that recommendation? It's not beyond the realm of possibility. Bye. It's not beyond the realm of possibility? He was wearing clothes. Wow. wow. You did all of this? <laughs> oh. I can't believe you go through all this effort and you don't have shows. Nah, it's just for me. I mean, I'd love to show my work, but people might hate it or think I was crazy or something. I don't think you're crazy. Well, my husband certainly does. You two don't get along, do you? <sighs> well... Let's put it this way. What have you spent about a minute in here with me? Yeah. That's about a minute and a half longer than he's ever spent. <laughs> Why do you stay? <sighs> That's a good question. Could we not talk about this? OK. You know, you should think about it, though. Yeah. Well, anyway. Wait, I have something for you. Here, a present. A present? For me? Why? For letting me help you. Shouldn't I be giving you the present? Come on, open it. OK. It's Bonnie D. Did you make this? Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Thank you. This is amazing. Thank you. Todd, what is the big fascination with Harvard? I mean, I thought you told me your passion was drawing. Most people wish they had something they could get excited about. I mean, you shouldn't waste that. Look who's talking. <laughs> Touche. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so you're gonna play like that now, are you? No, you're not. Mm -hmm. No, you're not? Oh, you did. Oh. Oh, dog. Hey, I got an idea. Okay, stay still. No. Out. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm turning you into your alter ego, Boney D. Oh, man. Okay. Now bark. Bark? Ruff. No. Come on, a big deep bark. believe you want to spend extra time doing calculus. Right. 
know, never thought I would say this, but I really love Matt. I don't know. I, I, I just see life so differently now. Oh, oh, I'm sure you do. You just slept with somebody's wife. No, it's not like that. Man. It's really not. I'm, I'm really into her. I wouldn't get too deep, Tom. We'll talk about this tomorrow. No, it's, look, I've heard this guy is really awful to her. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to feel bad about this. No, no, as long as you feel good, that's all that matters. <laughs> Jealous much? Oh, that has nothing. Just forget it. I thought you would be excited for me. Come on. Faber. We're friends, right? Good. Now I gotta get home, man. My, my parents are gonna freak out. You should be happy for me. He's gone. I'm sorry. Oh, I have to call my mom. She's going to be insane. I'm sorry. I should have woken you up last night. Oh, no, no. No, it's OK. I'm glad you didn't. She'll get over it. What are you doing? Morning breath. <laughs> I know, me too. I got to go. Talk about this. What? You figure you're just gonna let me blow in the breeze, and if I blew away, well, then good. You won't have to deal with me anymore. Is that it? I don't know what you're so upset about. Because you fucked your math tutor and you lied to me. Kirsten about Vicky. I didn't tell her. Then how did she know? You told her. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? She, she was in my room when you came by last night. What? Well, why didn't you tell me? Oh, you snaked Kirsten? I didn't snake her. Nothing has happened yet. Yet? Yet? 
What's that supposed to mean? Nice ethics, nice friend. Hey, you blew her off for some fantasy and you didn't even have the decency to tell her. I didn't know it was over. I didn't know what's gonna happen between me and Vicky. I didn't know that. What the hell is going on here? You girls want to fight, take it outside. You can make yourselves useful. My car's parked out front in a towway. Keep an eye on it. All right? I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Since when do you start pushing people in the halls? When did you forget who your best friend is? I can't believe you're lecturing me about ethics. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. That's Vicky's car. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh. This is, this is, this is a 66 Corvette Stingray, gentlemen. Don't touch. Nice car, sir. She's a beauty. Yeah, she's my lucky charm. I'm not feeling lucky today. Check these babies out. <laughs> yep, they catch me some dinner at the reservoir. Before dark. See you tomorrow, boys. I need to sit down. I guess you won't be getting the Harvard recommendation now. You know, what if he was here? He's not here. No. Mrs. Mueller. Oh, Todd. How could you not tell me? I don't know. Didn't seem to matter at first. Vicky. What are we gonna do? <laughs> what? I, I can't be with you. I know. How could you marry Mueller? God. <laughs> what is not funny? It wasn't always like that. This bait was incredible. I could have cleaned out the entire reservoir. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Mr. Shermer, the uh, Earth Science Yahoo at school, gave me these things called Dobson flies. Sounds great. Yeah, they start off as these ugly looking little. Christ, woman, watch yourself. Drinking. No, I just lost my balance. Yeah, okay. Tell you what, why don't I grill these? That way, I don't have to worry about you screwing them up. Oh, one other thing. Yeah? There's a kid in my calculus class, Todd Bowman. Yeah? I'm gonna write him a recommendation, but my printer screwed up. Where's your old typewriter? 
Uh, I'll be in in a second and, and help you find it. Hurry. Pretty miserable tonight, you all right? Yeah. What, are you worried about the interview tomorrow? Forget about it. You are going to be great. 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 Actually, that's the least of my worries. Yeah? Want to talk about it? Wouldn't know where to begin. Well, come on, give me a try. That's what I'm here for. Hit it. OK. I slept with someone's wife, and now I'm afraid he might find me and kill me. I thought you said you had a problem. Yanking my chain, aren't you? Oh, Dad. Of course I am. <laughs> of course. I'll see you. Dad. Um, remember when I told you that I uh, value friendship and Honesty. Yes. I meant that. Well, I knew you did. Well, um... You've screwed up before, right? No. I never have. No. I mean it. Yeah, once or twice. tell you is at the end of the day it's uh, just you so I would uh, face up to it whatever it is because I guarantee you that the longer you wait the, the worse it gets does that help yeah it does thanks dad you're gonna kill him you're gonna murder him you're gonna massacre Ten thousand men of Harvard want victory. Today. Your transcript and scores. Well, um, everything appears to be in order, Todd. Uh, good grades, uh, good SATs, some interesting activities. I'll tell you, I, I am a bit hazy on one point. Yes, sir. It says here that you are fucking your math teacher's wife. Is that right? Mr. Boomer. Oh, Mr. Mueller. You scared me there. <laughs> Big day today, huh? Harvard interview. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I wanted to catch you before class. Is there something you want to tell me? What is that, sir? Found this at my house last night. Uh, any ideas how it got there? Uh, you and my wife? Uh, well, you see, um... And you honestly thought I wouldn't catch on? OK, it was a mistake. I'm really sorry. I made a mistake. I'm no, sorry. no, Boomer, you made two mistakes. Sir? A 98. <laughs> I can't believe you actually thought you could get tutored by my wife and I wouldn't find out. <laughs> yeah, that 
was pretty silly of me. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm, frankly, I'm, I'm glad to know where she's been. She... Anyway, look, I know you wanted me to think you got there on your own. It's okay to get a little help on the side. Shows initiative. I'm impressed, Boomer. Well, uh, I hoped you would be, sir. In fact, I decided to write that recommendation for you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Don't tank on the final. Absolutely not. <laughs> hey, she's good, isn't she? My wife. She's the best, sir. sit next to you after yesterday's scene? <laughs> well, not everyone. <laughs> oh, I'm a fearless man. <laughs> I, uh, wanted to speak with you after the other night. Yeah. I really appreciate you being there for me. Well, I thought we should talk about us. Is there an us? Well, I like there to be. Shall we us? Saber, you know I think you're the greatest. You know, if I was gonna us with anyone, would be you. But I really need some time alone, you know, for a while. Just for now. Hey. It would kill me to lose you as a friend. Never happen. Mr. Bodine, your brain could easily be mistaken for a can of tuna. <laughs> and Ms. O'Brien, two words describe your semester. Want to guess? Brain dead. <clears throat> People, let me make something clear. I'm not happy when you're having trouble. It pains me. It makes me feel like I'm wasting my time. So, why do I come down on you so hard? Because fear motivates. Case in point, Mr. Boomer here. Six weeks ago, he was flushing a near-perfect high school record. I rattled his cage. Now look at him. Second highest grade this quiz. Poised to go to the school of his choice. So, if I tick you off, good. Great. Use that. Prove that I'm wrong. Make me eat my words. Work harder. We'll both be happy. Mr. Mueller? Todd? I appreciate what you said about me in class today. Oh, don't let it go to your head. The point is that uh, I really don't agree with the way you treat your students. That's your prerogative. People don't deserve to be treated that way. Your wife taught me that. Todd Vicky, maybe good with math. But I wouldn't 
take any life lessons from her. Slept with her, didn't you? Sir? Vicky, you slept with her. Yes. Yes. No. I'll message after the beat, but I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Vicky, it's Todd. Pick up the phone. Vicky, I told him. I didn't mean to, but it just came out. I told him. I'm sorry, Vicky. He's on his way over there right now. If you can hear this, if you get this message, get the hell out of there. Please, right now, get out. at the office? Oh, same old, same old. Some kid slept with my wife! I'm sorry. Oh, you sorry? Sorry. I... One of my students, Vicky! You only ruined my marriage. Now you're trying to ruin my career. Royce. Enough. Uh-oh. Look who's here. Uh, Mary Poppins. <laughs> Mary, you fucked up. Never open an umbrella indoors. It's bad luck. Very bad luck. OK, just relax, Mr. Miller, OK? Just relax. Ooh. Wait, Todd, this is between me and Roy. Between me, too. Oh, boy, I underestimated you, huh? Boomer, thought I had you all figured out. Didn't have the brains or the guts to go to Harvard or anything else. But you're gifted. Mm, you're a genius. Tutoring was just the tip of it. Improved your scores and scored with my wife, all without me knowing it. And then I write you the recommendation for Harvard. Ha <laughs> ha! That, that's genius! <laughs> yeah, you're. You're a wizard. You're a mastermind. You must be very proud. Huh? Well, shake my hand. Roy. Shut up. We'll put this behind us. Sorry. Is he gone? Yeah. You're really brave back there. Yeah. yeah. Though your choice in weapons was a little weak. <laughs> well, if, you know, if he would uh, spit at us. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I'm actually grateful. I should have gotten out of this a long time ago. What are you going to do now? Well, I think I'm going to try New York. 
try this art thing. Souvenir. What's this? Your Harvard recommendation. <laughs> what time is it? I don't know, around three. My interview's at four. Oh. Bye. I'll come visit you in New York. Good luck. like you're having a pretty tough day. No, I'm, I'm fine, really. Oh. Please. Well, I've gone over your stats, and everything looks okay. But I'll be honest. You're not a typical Harvard candidate. I don't see you making the top five of your class. Not unless the chess club has some horrible accident, no. Todd, let me, let me ask you something. Why do you want to go to Harvard? Um, I guess my dad and I have always had a plan that way, you know? He looks up to the students here as, as something special. What I'm getting at is why do you want to go to Harvard? Look, um, I've been pointed here like a compass my whole life. And now that I'm here, look, I, I, I know Harvard is a great school. I mean, it's the greatest, right? But, uh, I'm, not, I'm really not quite so sure it's for me. Go, buddy. Hello. Oh my God! What happened to you? Got punched. Hang on, Alan. Todd got punched at his Harvard interview. 
I didn't get punched at the interview, Mom. No, wait, that's wrong. Hang on. I need to talk to you for a second. It's uh, pretty important. <laughs> You said it was important. I don't really know how to tell you guys this. You don't want to go to Harvard, do you? No. No. I was uh, thinking about applying to an art school. Uh, I'll, I should let you two discuss this. Can I, can I ask you a question? Just, um, why didn't you tell me about this before? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me last night? I don't think I really knew until today. You're upset. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I am upset. A little. your decision. Marathon to be told properly. <laughs> I'll buy. Yes. All right. You need to talk to Kirsten. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go build something with toothpicks. Thanks, man. You're the best. How did you know I was here? Uh, diner night. Oh, of course. So I made a decision. Yeah? I'm not going to Harvard. Really? It's a breakthrough. I figured that art school would be better for me, you know? Yeah, I think you're right. That's uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about, though. I guess uh, what I wanted to say was that uh, I I'm really sorry. I, I know I hurt you, and I never meant to do that. I guess all I'm asking for is, is that you don't write me off as a friend. Never happened. about when we're off at school. Yeah, me too. I wonder where we'll be in 10 years. Well, you will be working on your second 100 million on interactive 3D smell-o-vision computer games. <laughs> the shed will be totally decked out with a jacuzzi <laughs> and a water slide. <laughs> OK, and me? OK, the place, New York, the event, the book signing of your first 
Wildly successful collection of poetry. Wildly successful. I like that. What about me? Do you want fries with your order today, sir? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 2008, we all meet back here and compare notes. What do you say? Never, Never happened. Guys, come on, work with me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to